Hello and welcome everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make a 3D map just like this. So let's get started. To make this map, we're gonna need Epic Games, Unreal Engine 5, Cesium, and Arcvis Explorer. You can download Epic Games from here. I will provide the description. I provide the link below. You can download it here and just install and go to the installation wizard. If you go to Epic Games, you go to library, we need Unreal Engine. Unreal Engine can be found here. At the library, you can install here a new version, install, and then click. Uh, Choose the, the newest version. That will be 5.4 here. It takes approximately 20 minutes. You can see the installation then here. And then you have Unreal Engine. All right. Next thing we need is Cesium. We go to the marketplace, which is over here. We type in here, the product sector, Cesium. We click here, Cesium for Unreal, we open it and we click here, Install to Engine. I have already installed it, so it's already there. Next one we need, if you do not have it, you can here click on 5.42 or your version and then you can install it and then it should install. It takes also approximately 10 minutes. You can see the overview then here in the taskbar over here. Alright, the next one we need is Arcvis Explorer. Oh, doesn't go that, that fast. Arcvis Explorer. This is the one you need. Arcvis Explorer from Carl, Carl Detroit. You will create a project of it. You must name it the correct. And then you create, create, click on create. After that, you can see it in your Arcvis Explorer here. So here, and these are the projects I have. And you have to click on install to engine. I have already installed all my Cesiums to the engine. But if you click here and you click on 5.4.2 and you click on install, you have it in essence. We don't need to create a project. We, you must create a project of Arcvis Explorer. I have already done that, so I'm okay with that. And then let's start and set up our project. So what we do now is we go to Unreal Engine, Epic Games, launch Unreal Engine. And we are going to create a blank project prototype give it a proper name prototype and then games blank give it a good name with blueprints this all the settings we leave it and we click on create this is going to take a while there we go perfect now we're going to install our plugin Cesium. So we click here on Edit, Plugins. We type in here Cesium and we tick this box. Now it says you must restart Unreal Editor for your changes to take effect and we click on Restart Now. Once back, we click, click Click here on Add Entry to Default Engine. And we click on Clear. And then we're done. Now, what we're going to do is over here, we are going to connect to Cesium. It's opening this sign in with Epic Games. If you're done, if you have done that, 
you click here on we click on new level an empty level create so what we're going to add Google photorealistic 3 details yes please and the cesium sun sky there we go perfect we have now 3d world on our web browser so let's go to a point that we want to go go to Google Maps and click for instance here in the city of Wageningen Wageningen is in the Netherlands and it has a 3d be aware that you should have 3d imagery available for instance, if I click here copy cesium geo reference here click on this one Now we're somewhere in Canada, if I'm correct. And then also copy this one. And we're done. Look at this. Gorgeous. Let's make it a bit less fast. In 3D. Perfect. Let's also add some clouds. It's over here. Uh, where was it? There. Visual effects is over here. Visual effects, volumetric clouds, and there pop in the clouds. Perfect. So now we give our file our new map a proper name. So we're going to save current level S and we are going to call this prototype. Save. Perfect. Now I'm going to do some extra settings. So click on edit, go to project settings, go to maps and modes. And in this sector on the projects, Editor startup map, we're going to change it in prototype and game default map also prototype. Save it again. Perfect. Done. So now what you're now going to do is we're going now we're going to close Unreal Engine. Click on Epic Games, open it again, go to library, and now click on ArcVis Explorer 5.4. Open it. There you go. So, this is ArcVis Explorer. We are going to migrate the content folder and its default setup settings. We're going to migrate this to our project. How do we do this? We click on Content Drawer. We click on Maps and on Demonstration 01, we right click Asset Actions, Migrate. And then we click on OK. And then we go to our towards our project, Prototype, Content Folder. Choose a destination, Content Folder. So we should also use a Content Folder map selecting and the migration will take place perfect now there is an extra step which we should take it's over here go click on edit click on project settings click on maps and modes excuse me go under engine in the project settings engine go to input and click here engine input export let's put it on top we just save it over there I saved it in downloads and then we should go back to our 
close this. Open Epic Games again. Go to the library. Go to Wageningen, which you, which we just have made. Prototype this one. This is our folder. Open it. And now, what we're now going to do, go to click on Edit, click on Project Settings, click on Import, go to your download folder, here on Open, and then Import it. Perfect. Now, if I click on Run Now, we can go around in the world. So, what we should do is we go to Arcvis Explorer, we go to Blueprints, we're going to add the BPEV Sun Sky, this one, edit, and there's a pop up over here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to delete the cesium sun sky which we just earlier have added we delete that and then the pop-up will be gone perfect and now for the next step what we we're going to do is content drawer and we are going to add the explorer palm yes perfect and we're going to override in world settings Game mode override, we're gonna change it to BP Explorer game mode. This one. Perfect. And then you should see it over here. Perfect. And now we're going to game instance class project. Where was it? Let me check it. Project settings, game instance, game instance class. Game instance. BP Explorer game instance. Perfect. Alright, it works. That's good. Save it. So now, what have we done? In Epic Games, we have installed Arcvis Explorer 5.4. We have created our own project, prototype. We have installed Cesium for Unreal and installed it to our engine. After that, we've created the project. We have imported the settings from Arcvis Explorer and we have created our 3D, first 3D settings with Cesium. This is the first part. In the second part, we are going to learn how to alter the buttons in the menu. We are going to learn how to alter this, these pop-ups. And we are going to learn how to make boxes around certain types of houses so you can create your own 3D map.